breezy Wednesday. We got locked and loaded on the dump bed. This is what happens when you collect random things over the weekend. One thing after the other turns into a big giant mess. There's nothing you can do to help it. Yeah, these big long things are number one, but they're eight feet long. Not going to take the time to cut them in half to make them number one. Plus, all this stuff's on top. Same with these shit pipes. Old eight foot shit pipes. Start off by picking up a couple of bed frames. Then it just adds up. Railings. And all kinds of random crap in there. What are you going to do? Someone has to get rid of the shit. Ready? She's ready. in the heater. One day you're sweating, next day you're freezing. Uh-oh. Look what we got. Oh. Been pretty busy trying to haul everything I can before that snow flies. But, I don't know, some winters are up here, hit or miss, you know, it's one winter I'll be busy and next one will do hardly anything. Not good. Look at that. It's perfectly cooked, it's hot. Oh. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with McDonald's hash brown. I mean, just look at it.
still on a little bit of high idle. Oh, big box, cold blooded. Yeah. It's weird how it works sometimes. With the dump bed, it's hard to judge when I'm going to fill it and when to take the stuff out and separate. It's, uh, because I use it so much for trash and you never know when somebody's going to call. But, can't keep it full for long because I always need it to do something. And I mean, it gets to a point where it doesn't make sense, you know, to handle the stuff twice. You know, I mean, yeah, there's there's some number one in there, and I've been picking up, uh, I picked up two boilers, stripped those so they're just, just the cast iron. So those would be number one. And it's got to be four foot long, right around four foot, to be considered number one steel. Quite a difference in price. But... Uh, You know, there's a little bit in here, but I'm not going to take all the stuff out to separate that because, number one, well, number one, but number one, it's not worth it financially, and it's not worth it on my back either because having a bad back can't really... Uh, throwing stuff around like I used to or else I pay for it and uh, what I've been doing is kind of using my tools like I have them you know for what they are I mean the the black Silverado the 2010 with the lift gate I'll pick up heavy stuff with that then I'll back up to the dump body push it in kind of works out so it takes some planning and uh, figuring out but look what we have here the old classic go to for me sausage McMuffin with egg and cheese and there you have it nice buttery toasted English muffin with an egg you got a sausage patty that's look at that cheese just melt oh. it all goes together it all goes in No time to celebrate. Mixed load equals light iron equals not very much money. The guy I bring cars to went up to 145 a ton. But the only thing is not taking light iron just loose because he doesn't have the space to pile it up but he'll take it if you stuff it in the cars and I also found out the other day that he said if it's well I was down there and a guy brought in truck cap, like an aluminum truck cap. Of course, it's got windows and stuff in it, so it's not clean. But, there's a bunch of scrap inside of it, and he dumped it off. I said to the guy, hey, I thought you said you didn't take light iron. It's pretty good coffee. McDonald's.
I bet. And he said, well, he said, if it's in something like that, contained, he said, you know, I'll take it because I can take that with the loader, put it in the crusher, and crush it with the cars. He's like, I don't have to mess around with loose metal. Oh. I said, so what about a truck bed full of metal? And he said, yeah. If it's all inside a truck bed, sure. So that's something to keep in mind since I just took a truck bed in the other day. But I had to take it to the other yard, which is a little closer to me. But they're only at 70 a ton. 70 a ton versus 145 for an extra 20 minute ride but crazy how many people bring them cars and, and metal but if only those people knew the other guy they could drive another 20 minutes and then they could sell their cats and batteries and wheels and everything to him too because he buys all that puts his price higher than everyone else because he's looking at quantity he wants to do a lot a lot of turnover a lot of cars you know Gotta play it like we can, you know, however which way we it's thrown at us. I mean, gotta get rid of the ship somehow. Not gonna, I got no room to. I mean, if I had a piece of land and I could just keep dumping in a huge pile, I'd make one pile of light, one pile of number one, and wait till I got a whole bunch and the price went up, but you know financially and space-wise, I can't do that. I gotta turn and burn. Can't hold on to stuff. I buy a car or something, that's money that I'm, I'm using out. You know, I'm investing that money out of my everyday money so that I gotta turn around cash that car in and get my profit right away because if someone turned around and says and it's happened before they say call me up say I got all these cars I want you to buy come get them it's like well what am I going to do say I don't have the money to buy them that doesn't really look good for business so I got to be ready usually locked and loaded with the cash to buy a car at any time. You never know when it's going to happen. Take a ride around town. Stop, get a coffee, go to the gas station. Go to get some beer or something. Somebody sees you, somebody sees your truck. They say, hey, you buy junk cars? I got one, follow me. You got to be ready for that. A lot of people up here, they want to talk in person, too. They don't really like talking on the phone. I found that out. You can give them my card. I gave a guy my card four times. Still wouldn't call me. Had to meet up with him in person. So, I don't know. It's just the way it is. You hungry yet? How does this smell? Oh, guess you wanted it. You gonna eat it? You can't swallow the whole thing.
Oh, you swallowed it. Get it down. Look at yourself. Drooling. Got some crumbs down here. What's this?
go we pulled in 7880 weighed out 6660 can't seem to jam more than 1200 pounds in this <laughs> dump bed all right twelve hundred twenty pounds. Forty-two seventy. Couldn't even round it up to the nearest dollar. They gave me the seventy cents. Well, move on to better things. At least the truck's empty. Not happy about it. Maybe hot dogs tonight. <laughs> 